who have shown me their trust tonight. All those voters of the left who came out in throngs to vote during these left primaries, which is now really part and parcel of our electoral process. And I'd like to thank everybody on the left who has come out and given their vote for me in this first round of elections. Your vote is a message of hope and renewal, a desire to write a new chapter in the history of the left and of France. Now, obviously, I'd like to send a, a message of friendship to Arnaud. I have shared many fights with him, and we share our values. And I thank him very much for the appeal he launched tonight to vote for me. It's an appeal to his voters, but I feel that it is a personal message to me, and in spite of the fact that we've been pitted against each other in this race. There has been nothing personal in that. I have the greatest esteem for him. I hold him in the highest possible esteem. And I'm so proud, indeed, that he's going to stand side by side with me in the electoral fight to come. Also to Vincent, to Sylvia, to Francois, to Jean-Luc. A message of friendship. We had a fascinating primary contest, discussions that were very interesting to all the French people. And to Manuel Valls, I say I'm very happy that I'm going to have yet another week to continue discussing with him and comparing our two society, ideas and projects of society which is essential in this left electoral primary round. Now, it's obvious that we have to leave behind us the old recipes, old politics, old solutions that no longer work. Tomorrow, in many cities in France, there's going to be a, a peak in pollution it's going to be a threat to the health, to all those who are the most vulnerable, the aged, the very young. So we need to change our development model to make sure that this change is one of our policy priorities, unless we resign to bequeathing to our children an unlivable world. And this is why we must leave diesel fuel behind us by 2025. We must reduce also the share of nuclear energy, make sure that we turn ecological transition into a priority. Today is also the anniversary of the death of Abbot Pierre, and I'd like to take this opportunity to say that to be social issues are so important, they're at the very top of my priorities, because labor is now changing, work is changing, working conditions are changing because of the digital revolution, we really have to worry about what we do in order to make sure that we give French people the possibility of riding the wave of all these changes that are coming into our labor structure, making sure that Hardship is left behind us. The possibility of negotiating with employers, reducing the time spent working every week, this is part and parcel of what I'm doing for the whole of French society. I want to reflect the aspirations of all of our citizens to be the masters of their own lives, to make sure that a new breath is instilled into democracy. This is the sense of the Sixth Republic that I'm going to defend, and it's going to be at the very heart of the political project that I will continue defending this week, and I hope beyond the 29th of January. The voters on the left have voted because of their conviction, and not because they were resigned to anything, because otherwise I wouldn't have come out on top. They have therefore decided to turn the social and the ecological questions and issues into the two major prongs of our policy to be followed in the future. Not one pitted against each other, but one complementing each other. This is the sense of their hope. This is what they want and what they require. 
I hope not to let them down. What we need now to do is to amplify the dynamism of our movement, instill greater strength into it, and I see in this, my fellow Frenchmen and French women, another brick that we add to the building of the left, more left, so as to rebuild hope and share that hope with all French people. Tonight is but a first stage, and I receive this trust with a sense of responsibility, seriousness, but a great deal of enthusiasm. Thank you very much. Long live France. Long live the Republic.